How are devil fruits created? A crazy flying panda theory. One Piece is such a fascinating story and almost in every new chapter, we are drawn more into the story. Yet, there are so many questions that we are yet to know the answer to and one of them is how do the devil fruits exist? I look at all the possibilities and we start with my first point and that is every time a devil fruit user dies, a new fruit will respawn at a nearby location. We have already seen this with the Sora Sora no Mi zone type who is eaten by Smiley but with his death, the fruit has returned into circulation. We were so fascinated by the fruit reappearing, we didn't believe that the user dies and then it returns as a fruit. Well let me explain it to you in a different way. What if the devil fruit reappeared not because the user died but he was sacrificed for the devil fruit to reappear? Did that make sense? Okay, what I'm trying to say is that the devil fruits were created by human sacrifices. If you have seen Full Metal Alchemist, and please watch it, I'm going to spoil you right now, they wanted the ultimate power, and that is the Philosopher's Stone. To create that stone, you will need human sacrifices. You think One Piece would be that dark? Well, we did see hints that at Morijo's, female slaves were abused, even bust the core. The government would do anything to protect their justice. I'm sure most of you have some questions now, but let's get to the second point. The Smile Devil Fruits. The artificial devil fruit is a type of devil fruit created by scientific means, independent varieties produced by Vegapunk and a collaboration of Caesar Clown and Doflamingo. So far, only zone types are produced. But why are all the Smile Devil Fruits zone fruits? What I believe is that they are created by animal sacrifices. Hence why the transformations do not feel so complete. You can see this from Sheep's Head, where his arm transforms into a Sheep's Head, which are different from the normal zone fruits. So Vegapunk is a scientist that sacrifices animals. No big surprise there, but it does make you wonder how he fused the fruits into objects. From the second point, we understand smiles are from animal sacrifices. That is why we will most likely see duplicates of the same animal in Kylo's crew. But if I'm saying devil fruits are made from human sacrifices, then how did the devil fruits were originally created then? Well this goes to my final point. What if the devil fruits were created by sacrifices from people from the ancient kingdom? Could this be the void history that Nico Robin will soon discover? He has already a book of their fruits which tells you every one of their powers which Blackbeard and Sanji have indeed read. Was this come to be known when the world government were experimenting on these people again and again? I have more to say but I'll leave it like this for now because I want to know your opinions on this. Let me add a final thought. Why was Momo's fruit which was created by Vegapunk different? Well. What if Vegapunk actually performed a human sacrifice? Is Vegapunk an ally or an enemy? Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this crazy flying panda theory and please leave a comment down below. Click like and if you haven't, please subscribe. Flying Panda.